It's the Frank Show. What the Frank Show? Come on, the Frank Show. What the Frank Show? Come on, the Frank Show. What the Frank Show? Come on, the Frank Show. It's time for the show. Hello, hi, heads, heads. Frankie boy here, and it's time for the Frank Show. Now, a question that I get all the time is, Frankie, how do you stream with your PlayStation VR to YouTube, Twitch, or something like that? Now, a lot of you may be saying to yourself, it's super easy, dude. Just hit the share button, and you're good to go. But honestly, all you can really do is have comments on screen or robo comments, and, and that's about it. Now, it does work perfectly, but if you want to take it to that next level and include a body cam or your green screen yourself into the game world, then it's a little bit more difficult. Now, it's not the hardest thing on earth, and I have gone through several iterations of setup to find what I think is one of the more optimal setups. There's never a perfect setup. You will always be upgrading and changing and switching things around, but I'm semi-comfortable with what I got right now, so I thought I'd share with you guys because I have been getting requests. Now, if you enjoy videos like this and you want to stay up to date on everything PlayStation VR, consider subscribing. Now, on to the content all right first up you're gonna need a couple things to get started the number one on that list is a playstation vr yeah, yeah, yeah you can't do this without that one next up you're gonna need a computer uh, the better the computer the better your live streams are probably gonna be because you got a couple things running at once Next up, you're going to want a webcam. The higher the quality, the better the quality for your live streams, as I'm sure you can guess. Next up, you're going to want a tripod and a gorilla tripod if you want. You don't have to have a gorilla tripod. You could probably use a twist tie to put your uh, camera up, but uh, it would help. And finally, you're going to need a capture device, and I do recommend the Elgato HD60. All right, headsets, what's happening? This is my setup. Now, this is where I put my PlayStation camera and where I put my webcam. Now, we're going to move over to the computer. Once we're on the computer side, we got the PS4. We got the box for the PSVR. And instead of going to the TV, you're going to plug your wire into your HD60 or other capture device. And from your capture device, you are going to plug that wire, yes, this baby right here, back into the computer. Now, after you do that, I have my little setup, so my PlayStation VR is up on the ceiling. You're pretty much good to go on at it. Now, on this end, you're going to want as solid of lighting as you can if you do want a green screen, because that is the most important part, lighting. Now, I just use regular work lights. I got two of them. I got one right here, one right over there, and they do seem to work perfect for me. I could probably have better lighting, but hey, what you gonna do? Now, like I was showing you with that wire a minute ago, my PlayStation VR is connected to the ceiling, so it makes it a much cleaner setup, makes it much easier to work with, move around with, have a good time with, stream with, without a bunch of wires everywhere, and you know what? It kind of feels like it's wireless, which is really, really nice. I can kind of hang out. Put it on my head and not have to worry about anything dangling while you're live streaming, which, heh, as you can tell from here, makes it super cool. Now, here we got all that set up. We're going to hop over to OBS. You can download it down from the website. Not going to waste your time. First up, you're going to want to add a scene for you. Okay, that's for you guys. Next up, we're going to have a source. We are going to add the PlayStation 4 or PlayStation VR. If you see that it's one and the same. As you see, there's a bunch of sources. It's not game capture. You want video capture device. Now, you're going to name this one. I already have it. We're going to do it to show you guys PS4. And we're going to go down the list. We're going to pick Elgato. And we're going to change it to a custom setting. Just make sure that you configure it. Custom setting to 1280 by 720. Or it's going to be real squished and it's not going to look right you want to make sure that you got it at 1280 by 720 and then if you hit that it just takes a second to load and boom pop up it'll look much better you don't have to worry about any other settings now you're going to drag this baby around all you have to do is just click on the corner and drag that's it don't click anything on your keyboard just drag it up it's going to be a little bit bigger than your screen but i mean don't worry about that you guys most of the time you don't have to worry you might even have to go back in once you're in a playstation vr game and resize it so that the game fits better 
And once you have it to kind of the spot, perfect point, I'm perfectioning right now, but you know what I mean? Once you got it to the spot where you want it, you're solid there, and you can add in your next aspect to the scene, which in this case, we are going to add a webcam. Yes, so we can show our body. Now, another video capture device is what we want this time. Instead of setting it up, we're just going to go through, and I am just going to hop in there and pick my webcam. You guys, you set this up the same way you did before. You click it in, you would pick the Logitech, you'd add a new device, and then boom, it's going to pop up there. Now you can do it with the webcam, exactly the same thing that you did with the gameplay. You just click the corner, you resize it as you want it, and you can put it wherever you want to put it. Put it over there, you put it over there, you make it big, you make it smaller. Whatever you want to do, you can also fix it. Now all you got to do is hit Alt and then the cloud and then drag it and you cut it a little bit. So if you got the green screen set up, you cut it to where all you see is a green. And that way when you add a filter later, you can't see any of your room. And you know what? You're beautiful. It looks like you're just chilling in the game, you guys. And it's a nice effect. Now finally, we're going to add audio. I'm doing this the simplest way ever. Now almost all modern webcams are going to have a microphone on them. So honestly, just put your webcam mic because it's going to be easier. We're just showing you guys. See, look, I am just adding it on here. We're adding up. Zip. You can't rename things the same thing. We're going to add it on here as webcam mic. We're going to hit OK. And we're going to go drop down and just pick it from the thing. As you see, it's got the HD webcam microphone. And boom, you guys. Now we have audio as well. Now drop down to the list. Make sure that you have your audio right. We're going to go in there. We're going to clap, clap. As you notice, I'm clapping and looking and not seeing anything. It's because I did not drag down all the way. Make sure you drag down all the way. See, there's webcam. Now I can see it. Clap, clap. Everything's working smoothly. Thumbs up. Beautiful, which is nice. And we're good to go. Now, one little thing, you guys, is sometimes when you PlayStation VR and with OBS, you get a little delay. Now, to make sure you don't have a delay, record this. Don't stream this. Go through and just click the buttons and say when you're clicking left and right. And then check your recording and make sure that it's not off. If it's off a little bit, it's super simple, you guys. And this is the big thing that I ran into this is the number one thing what you're going to do is go to your webcam go to the properties or oh, filters not properties add yourself a video delay all you can do is hit plus sign video delay and then you just go up by little intervals i started at 100 and went up from there i found out 1000 works really good for me now you also want to make sure that you do that with your audio too or else it's going to be funky and the audio might need a different one but it, it, it normally it's going to be the exact same as your video so just set that baby to a thousand delay as well and then hit the recording it doesn't have to be the thousand it might not be a thousand for you it might be 700 hit the recording button check it see if everything matches up do the left right left right and if you are good to go you're good to go and from that point in time you have to worry anything i'm just showing you the green screen filter if you want you guys you had a filter you can select the color and you just black that out and you won't see that background anymore i, I didn't want to waste the time to show you guys exactly how it does you can watch more videos on that online Frankie boy is not here to waste your time. He just wants to show you what is capable and how it is to live stream your PlayStation VR with OBS. Yes. One other thing you can't forget, and the only real setting you have to worry about in settings, make sure you get your stream key. You can find that in your settings of Twitch, or YouTube, or whatever streaming service you want to use. Just pick the service. Go on there, get your stream key, put it in there, and boom, you're good to go. Please don't tell anybody your stream key, and you're ready to start streaming. All right, so what did you guys think? Are you going to try this? Are you going to go out and grab this stuff? It's a little bit on the costly side, but if you really want the best, the most optimal product, then this is the way you got to do it. And this is the easiest and cheapest way you got to do it. I mean, you might be able to find some used stuff online, so definitely look at that before you do anything else. And, and, and this is probably your best bet and your easiest way to accomplish that, uh, that streaming look that you're going for because it is so much more fun when you have a body cam with VR live because you can really see people's actions while they're in the game and while they're in real life and it's just VR is more of a physical thing than any other medium and, and gaming is already fun to watch people streaming live so why not make it even more better now thank you guys for coming through you're beautiful I hope you enjoyed that video I hope it helps you out I hope it was informational and if you did enjoy it you could throw a thumbs up but really only if you want to now more importantly if you're new to this channel stumbled on this video 
video with just seeking help and you're looking for I, I'll make more videos like this don't worry in the future and but you may be looking also for every and anything PlayStation VR and you know what you gotta freaking subscribe I mean come on nah. all right smooches peace and love and uh, now go figure out your streaming setup Wash it off my seat. Wash your flowers. 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 Wash your seat.